Oh, yes indeed, he wins out once again on his watch. Now, what I'm doing today is really, really stupid. And I'll explain why. Now, my feet aren't 100%, but I want to see how bad they are. All right? And the only way to do that is to come and try a walk. Now, I'm not going to do the uber, uber long walk. I'm just doing the normal one. Um, as luck would have it, it's pissing it down with rain. Uh, so if you start hearing any wind blowing or like that, I apologise, but there's not a lot I can do about it. Didn't really want to bring the camcorder out in weather like this, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, God, it's nice to be out again. I think I've been in prison, you know what I mean? I've been stuck in the bloody house for months. I'm able to get out, so we'll see. Um, now, I've recorded all the um, master classes for, um, for Autodesk. Hopefully they'll make it in time for SIGGRAPH, which is the plan, so that they basically debut with Box 2010. We saw the nice little reward for the support I, I gave, you know, for nothing on 2009. Um, we'll be doing some stuff, you know, a lot of that stuff again, more videos, more quick stuff, but there's a few differences this time. Um, on release day, there will be a big announcement that I'll be making, alright? Nothing to do with tutorials, just I'm going to make, that's all I'm going to say is, if you're a Mudbox user, or you're going to think of using Mudbox 2010, you will want to see this, right? I don't care if you like me or not, you're going to want to see this, because you'll kick yourself if you don't. That's all I'm going to say. Um, so, I basically need some chill time now, because I've just done from Friday, right way through, until yesterday at 3 o'clock, I had zero time for me. Not one second. It was basically working crazy hours. The last session that I had to do was 36 hours long without sleep. Uh, at the end of that, I was actually tempted. I've been doing a series of sort of um, like a video diary, the making of sort of thing. You know what I mean? Just for daft to put online, put on YouTube, maybe Vimeo and stuff. Um, then I realised what the last one would actually look like. Now I thought, you know what I did? I deleted that file. It looked like a bleeding psychopath. <laughs> I did after 36 hours with no sleep, very little food. Um, I was getting to the point where, you know, the, the sort of cycles have started to creep in after that amount of time. You start seeing little flashing lights in front of your eyes and stuff. Um, so I've done another, but I did one yesterday, sort of evening, and that's that long. But I'll probably wait till after, or when the class is online, before I put it up. There's a few things I mentioned in there that I can't put out before the next version. Um, simple as that. Uh, well, I'll have to check through just to make sure. Uh, so, yes. Uh, been a busy old time. Now those of you that get 3D World magazine, have me sort of a look out in the next issue. Goes Weenie Boys in there, in one of the adverts. Oh, I just need the uh, model for an advert. And of course they came to me, you know, because they know I've got plenty of the buggers lying about to sit and doing nothing. So my old wrinkly bastard head, if you look on here, it's on here somewhere. Um, they're using that for the advert. Do about real time rendering and all this stuff, right? Um, just in time for SIGGRAPH. So, if the SIGGRAPH Masterclass is at SIGGRAPH, like it's supposed to, um, then you're not going to be able to move for me. You're rather the start of the next release. Now, I am prepared for a flashback from certain elements of the Mudbox community. Zebra community could not give a shit about because I know they're a pack of windy bastards anyway. Well, alright, not most of them. I'm only joking, but yeah, there's so many elements that, you know, I think it's a second coming, but let's not get into that. Um, so, it's going to be interesting because some people are going to have a serious hissy fit um, when they see some of the stuff that's lined up. Now, I think I mentioned, and I can't remember if I mentioned the last one or not, but uh, Pixar have uh, bought a couple of my DVDs. Yes, how very nice of them. I'm going to tilt this here so I don't get uh, water on the lens. That was very nice of them, I thought, paying actual cash money. Um, they were nice enough to uh, ask uh, how legal it was for them to put it on the server so all the artists could use it. Um, and I told them that's absolutely fine. I don't normally don't allow that. The only reason I allow that is because Kane really liked Wally, right? <laughs> he really liked it. I liked the film, I thought it was a work of art. I like their work and I'm prepared to wave it just this once. Simple as that. Uh, there may be something else in the offing, but I can't say it's too early. And I'm not going to jinx it. So. There's lots of stuff lined up, um, but now, at the moment, now I've got that out of the way, until the next release, because basically I was told by the publisher, look, just hold off on the book, because, as I said, there was a new version coming, there was some other things that I have lined up that maybe I'd want to include, um, and we would thought I'd hold it off, and I'll just redo certain sections of the book, and redo the models and stuff, um, 
it's easier long run, in the long run because I don't want to put I didn't want to rush the, initially I was going to rush this book out and I thought no wait a minute, wait a minute. I've, I've got enough of a name and I hate to sound bigger but I've got enough of a name now with Mudbox that I do not have to worry about whether this book's first, second or last right I know and the user base know it's going to have good information in it and good usable workflows um, now this this masterclass for Autodesk there's two ways you can do them, right? There's the way that people, sometimes people normally they treat it as a uh, more like a portfolio for themselves, right? Nothing wrong with that. Um, that's not the way I work, though. You know that. My idea was, look, I want people to come away from watching this two, oh, well over two, I think it's two and a quarter hours of, of video, and say, wow, I've learnt a load of stuff there. Now, Dave Cardwell, I was talking to him, you know, I talked to Dave every day, and he, I showed him one of the sample parts. Um, you got to send samples over and stuff like this, you know. To make sure the quality's up to par and stuff while he's recording, and I, and I said, I sent him over. I said, you know, they got these, these like, the particular technique. He says, you know, I'd never thought of done doing that in a million years, which is nice because to me it's really obvious. But again, we all, all our brains work differently, right? So no doubt there's something you'll do that I say, well, that's different. I like that. Same thing. See, let's have a look. We'll see what time it is. Oh, it's six minutes. Got a while yet. I'm going to hold this up here. Oh, there you go, now we're on the way down. It's amazing you've got a load of 4x4s around here, but not one of them ever goes actually deep into the countryside, off-road, you know. So yeah, um, I know some good stuff in this masterclass. It was uh, very rushed to record it. It's See, I used to really, this was one of my main things I used to aim for. Right when I started out, I wanted to do a masterclass for, at SIGGRAPH, but it was supposed to be at SIGGRAPH, but then there was the cutbacks and all this, and, Really, boy, got the shot, the shitty end of the stick, and those of us that we were supposed to do masterclass for Autodesk, we're all told we'd have to do it online. Now, the only person that's easy for it to be blunt, and I've said this to Autodesk, is Autodesk. It makes it a lot harder for us because um, it's not just stand there and do your shit, right? Then you've got to sync your cam, in my case, a HD camera, the screen, and the mic. Uh, you cannot edit anything because the moment you do, you are fucked, right? Trying to keep them in sync is nearly impossible. Um, I've got a few trips, tricks and tips and tricks I've learned since then, I tell you. It's worthy of a DVD on its own, this bugger. But, um, it's, it's hard. There was some parts I had to, the only way I could approach this was in sections. So each of the natural sections are recorded as a separate entity. And it'll all be grouped together at the end. Um, if it was live, it would all be, you know, be all be done one after the other. The only difference is with this one... Normally people only do like the application they're using and maybe one or two more. I think I'm using as the eight or ten different ones. Which causes its own issues because then your brain sort of fries, you know what I mean? <laughs> Part of the way through your brain goes poof and that's it and it's difficult when you're changing from Max to Maya, you've got to remember the camera sort of hotkeys and shit, right? Then you're going from Maya over to XSI. Whoops, oh you're off the S key now and it really does fuck with your head. Um, I managed it, I pulled it off. Um, and with no no big issues or crashes or anything, which is always a plus point. So uh, I'm going to say, look, just look out for it. It's worth it. I promise. Uh, it's planned to be free. Um, I'm not sure if they suddenly put a peer thing on, but I can't see them doing that. It's planned to be free. It should be on the area. Uh, that was the original plan. Uh, as far as I know, that hasn't changed. Um, obviously, I'll be linking stuff from uh, Mudbox Hub, uh, and there's all sorts of links going backwards to Mudbox Hub anyway. Which you should be a member anyway if you're a Mudbox user. If you're not, well, you know, don't, don't blame me if you miss out on stuff and information. Because there's some information will only be going out in Mudbox Hub. That's all I'm going to say. Right. Got a minute or two before uh, I'll have to go to part two. I may make this a three-parter today. Um, for no other goddamn reason than why the hell not. Um, it's been one of those sort of interesting days, so I'm going to go and do one of these spelunking things. There's nothing down here of any interest, but... I haven't been out for a while, and I do fancy a bit of a walk. Um, I'm probably going to regret this, who does this? I'll get back in the house and I'll be in absolute screaming agony, I know I will. So there you go. Right, what time have we got? We need to turn away to part one. So I'll go to part two, we'll discuss some more stuff then. Um, I would, if you're waiting for me to give away any secrets of Mudbox 2010, you will be waiting until you... You know, the hell freezes over and the devil goes to work on his snowplow. Because I am not allowed, I will not, and none of the beta testers are allowed. If they break that, they will be kicked out of the beta. And they will be sort of blackballed. And a lot of us will get annoyed. Right? Right, I'll see you in part two.